Um, it's 7.28 now. Um, horrific, appalling, just two of the responses which we've heard from conservationists today after a platform built to encourage ospreys to breed was chopped down in North Wales. Now, it came just one day after an egg was laid in the nest. Police say they're pulling out all the stops to find those responsible. Tim Muffet's got the story. Ospreys are a very rare sight in the UK. Nesting platforms for the birds of prey were first built at Lynn Brennig Reservoir in North Wales in 2013 as part of a successful conservation project. But on Friday night, just one day after an egg was laid in this nest, what's been described as an horrific act of vandalism took place. The nesting platform was cut down with chainsaws. We're really pulling all stops out to try and catch the person or persons responsible for this. And I mean, the whole team are absolutely devastated by it, and I'm sure the whole community are as well. These birds give a lot of people a lot of pleasure. Uh, and I just can't understand how anybody could actually go and do something like that. Ospreys spend the winter in Africa, typically returning to the same nest each spring. Osprey eggs have been targeted by thieves before, although police say they don't know the motive in this instance. Conservationists have placed a decoy egg on a nearby site in the hope the pair will nest there instead. Anyone with information about this crime is being urged to contact North Wales Police. Tim Muffet, BBC News. Well, let's talk to the naturalist and broadcaster Yolo Williams. Um, thank you so much for coming on this morning. Um, the first question that comes to mind is, what is the point of doing this? I mean, why would somebody do this? Oh, that's the million dollar question. Everyone is absolutely mystified. You know, the, these are birds that everybody loves. It, it's, is it an individual with a grudge against one of the organizations involved? Is it somebody who just doesn't like the birds? Is it just somebody who's just thought it was a good idea at the time to cut down the tree? We simply don't know. But what we do know is because of where the nest is, this was a well-planned organization. This was a, a, a well-planned event. It's just environmental vandalism of the worst kind, really. And can you just tell us a bit about ospreys? I mean, why they are protected, you know, what should and shouldn't happen? Yes, indeed. Yeah, well, they're migratory birds. They arrive back from Africa, uh, usually towards the end of March every year. They're an incredibly rare bird in the UK. Um, they, they had died out altogether. They recolonised Scotland in the 1950s. They spread very slowly. So in the 1990s, small number were reintroduced to Rutland water. And it was then really that numbers began to increase. They first nested in Wales in 2004, two pairs in that year. But even now, we only have five pairs here in Wales. So in one fell swoop, we've lost 20% of the whole Welsh population. Gosh, I mean, that really is tragic. They're such beautiful creatures. Have you ever seen anything like this happen before? I mean, taking a chainsaw and, and chopping it down, it's just so brutal. It is brutal. It, it's absolutely brutal. And, and uh, unfortunately, yes, I, I worked for the RSPB for 15 years. And I remember in the 1980s, a very well-known uh, egg collector at that time, Colin Watson, he went up to Loch Garten to the famous osprey nesting tree there in the winter and cut it down. But but that was his beef was against the RSPB, which is what leads me to believe that this might be an individual who has a grudge against somebody involved in this uh, osprey operation up in Llynbrenig, up in North Wales. Have you got any insight into how the birds feel about this? I mean, is there a reaction? Do they go and re-nest somewhere else? Well, th this is the only hope, really, is that it's still early in spring. They'd, ne they'd laid one egg. Uh, they usually lay two, three um, it, it is more normal. So what we're hoping is that by putting a dummy egg in a nearby nest, then the female will be induced to head over there and lay two, maybe even three eggs again. Um, if she lays two eggs there and incubates those successfully, we'll be delighted, of course, although that doesn't take away from this idiotic act of vandalism. 
Just looking at these pictures, I mean, I know I've said it once, but I'll say it again, they are such majestic creatures. I mean, you know, why is it so tragic? You know, what has happened? What is so special about these birds? It's because they bring joy to so many people. Um, we, we have the Osprey Centre up at Llynbrenig. We have another one at the Glaslin near Porthmadog. We have another one on the, on the Dovey Estuary. And they attract it normally as they will attract hundreds of thousands of visitors, each one enthralled by these beautiful birds. So I think that's why there's been such an outrage at this act of vandalism. Now, if everyone is, is just devastated and, and also mystified. Thank you, Yolo there. Absolutely no point whatsoever. Really doesn't make sense.